I got a little bit, it's 444RR, and this is the one I got for Christmas video. I'm really excited to share what I got for Christmas. I got some really great stuff, uh, non-magic related and magic related as well. So I'm going to start with the non-magic section first. Um, I have some Wizard of Oz bobbleheads, actually, that I've got from the beach for getting uh, enough tickets to buy those at the beach. But they never had the complete set of them. And I finally got the complete set because I was missing Glenda the Good Witch and the Winky Guard. And I have the other, I have the Wicked Witch, the Flying Monkey, and then the four friends already. So I'm really cool, really excited that I got those. This is really cool too. I actually like this. This is a uh, panoramic poster of the Wizard of Oz. This is really awesome. That's what it looks like. I'll go back and I'll show it to you in detail. It has all the scenes got starting in Munchkin Land. And then it goes to the cornfield to the Tin Man's uh, Woods, then to the Haunted Forest, then to the Emerald City and Poppy Fields. And up in the sky, the witch is riding, I can't see it, Surrender Dorothy up in the sky. Really, really cool. I need to find a frame long enough to hang this, though, because I want to hang it up in a frame. All right, now to the magic, and some other uh, items I got in the non-magic section were like uh, toiletry items, sh shampoo, toothpaste, that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, now it's time for the magic related section. I'm really excited about this. Got some really, really good tricks this year. Really good tricks. Okay, uh, first I have Brendan, David, and Chris to reach is env Envelope. This is a really great trick. If, you, if you're in the magic community and you don't know about this trick, where have you been? Uh, this is a trick where it is a uh, deck of cards. You put the spectator's card in a deck of cards. The deck of cards turn into, and turns into an envelope that, you, that was shown to be empty at the beginning of the trick. And then uh, you pull out their card. The deck of cards has now, is now in your pocket with the uh, envelope. It's Really cool. Uh, I'm still, I haven't learned this one yet, so I'll be learning this one and I'll be doing it for the Magic Challenge very soon. Uh, another trick I got, we're going to do a Harry Evans special coming up soon because I have uh, Modern Times and Risky Bet. Now, these are really great tricks. Risky Bet is cool where you uh, bet the spectator $5 that you can't find their card in two tries. And um, you on the first try, you can't find their card, so you say, I get one more try. You pull the $5 out of the deck of cards, and then there, the card that was under your foot is now the spectator's selected card. It's really cool. Um, and then Modern Times, when I first saw the Magic Geek demo for this, I thought it was a camera trick because it looks visually stunning. The, uh, the, cards is in a, the, the blue back deck of cards is in a box. You take the cards out of the box, not actually take them out, but you like shake the box and they transform into a deck of cards. The cards are shown to be blue backed, and then afterwards the car the cards turn into red backed cards, and then the red back the blue backed cards are now in the red box in the red box deck of cards. Really, really cool. And uh, I got this really cool thing. Uh, uh, my mom actually found these for me online. These are really awesome, sweet deck of cards. They're like gold cards, and on the back they have these shiny gold little $100 bills. This is a really cool deck of cards. I actually like this. This is I like this. I don't know what company makes these, but they're really cool. All right, and another really cool trick that I got. I'm really excited I got this one. This one I have done three times already today, and it has gone over really well. It's My Pet Boris Magic Spider Pro Pack with the spider and the cockroach. This is a really killer trick. Um... This is a scare trick. It's almost like um, uh, Eric Stone's The Web, where a spider uh, crawls around your iPhone screen, and you can touch the spider with your finger, make it appear and reappear back on the screen. The spectator waves their hand over it, and just like in The Web, there's a spider on the back. It freaks them out. Everyone is freaked out today that I've done the trick for, so it's really, really cool. And I'll be doing this probably tomorrow for the Magic Challenge. I've got a live per per uh, performance video tonight, and I'll probably upload it tomorrow so you guys can see the review of this, because this is a really, really great trick, and it really freaks people out. It's really cool. All right, and uh, let's see. Oh, I got this guy here. This is a really cool trick. This is the um, six-inch uh, 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 appearing box where you make objects appear in this box. It's really cool. Uh, anything can uh, can fit, uh, anything, you can make anything appear, a giant sponge ball, uh, a big thing of silks, whatever you want to appear in here. It's really cool. It's really neat, too. Really neat. And then finally, the big item, and I'm really excited about Oh, and if you saw my magic challenge, I had kind of a uh, begin, uh, kind of an early Christmas last weekend where I got Clarity Box and Overstuffed by Bizarro, so that's some more stuff I got for Christmas. Oh, and I also got a couple decks of cards as well for, uh, just as a stocking stuffer, because 
Magicians always need cards. And finally, I'm really excited I got this. I honestly didn't think I'd get this, because uh, it's a lot of money. It's a really expensive trick, but I'm so glad I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Multiplying Pringles set. Now, um, I opened it up, but it said, do not play with this until you have watched the DVD. So I have not a chance to actually break the trick in and see it. But I'm definitely going to watch it tonight uh, before I go to bed, and I want to learn how to do it, or at least watch the DVD and see how to do it. I'm excited. This is going to be really, really cool. This is going to be great for stage shows and kid shows. Uh, everybody in the magic community says this is great to do for kid shows because instead of doing this, uh, the multiplying bottles, oh, you can't see them. Anyway, instead of doing the multiplying bottles where they're, you know, martini wine bottles, you can actually have uh, multiplying Pringles, which I can't wait to see this. And it's not just multiplying Pringles, but it's also like the multiplying bottles where you can either have a glass of soda, like the soda, you can pour soda in there, or you can just have cans of soda. And the, the can switch places with the potato chips. It's really cool. I'm excited. I can't wait to actually break this open tonight and see. So that's really cool. That's what I got for Christmas. A lot of great magic. I'm really excited. I can't wait to learn all this magic. I've learned some of it, uh, but I haven't learned all of it yet. So, uh, like, I learned my uh, pet spider Boris. I've already done that because I really wanted to learn this. And uh, the cool thing is I'll probably treat myself to an extra Christmas present because my pet Boris uh, comes with an expansion pack that I didn't know about that you can only buy, I think, right off of the app. You actually haven't, you download the app on your phone, but there's a butterfly setting where you make a butterfly appear on the back, which I think is kind of cool too, so maybe I'll try that, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll get, uh, treat myself to my own Christmas present by getting the butterfly. Who knows? I didn't know that, because you can't buy the butterfly like on Magic Geek or any places like that, because they don't show up, uh, but it's only, it's an in-app purchase where you can purchase the pack of butterflies plus the butterfly um, animation screen. So, really cool. And uh, if you if you can't wait to see My Pet Boris Spider, go to the Nerdist channel and find Justin Willman's uh, Halloween video, because he posted a Halloween video, and uh, it's it's uh, him doing the trick for people. It's really cool. Uh, so, I'll definitely do this tomorrow for the Magic Challenge, so you can get my full review on this. I really like this trick. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you tomorrow for the next Magic Challenge video.